This clip will walk you through the steps needed to use the house account feature. The first step is making sure that you have house account listed properly in your table of currencies. Go to back office, then utilities, and click currencies. Check to see that house account is listed. If it is not, Start by entering a code. For house account, we recommend using the number 1. Then type house account as the currency type. Enter 1 as the rate. Then select the order in which you would like to see this listed as a method of payment at the point of sale. Be sure not to enter a number that is already in use. And remember that using 99 will make this method of payment hidden. For this example, 98 is used so that this will be the last method of payment listed. Click to the next line to save your entry. Then click Bye Bye to exit the Currencies table. For the next step, click Setup. Search for the word House Charge. In the value for house charge currency code, enter the currency code you used for house account in the currency table. In our example, we used 1 as the currency code. When you are finished, click Bye Bye to exit and save. Now let's go to the point of sale and set up a customer with a house account. Start by going to the Customers module. Then search for your customer. When you have found the customer, click Zoom. If the customer is not listed, click Add New Customer and enter your customer's information. Next, click House Account Info. Here, you will enter the customer's credit limit. Click Save when you are finished. You can click Connect to associate this customer with the next sale. To credit a sale to the customer's house account, scan the items as usual. Then, select House Account as the method of payment. The customer's receipt will show his previous balance, the amount of this charge, and the new current balance. The next time this customer is selected at the point of sale, his balance will automatically show on the screen. If the customer attempts to charge more than his remaining balance on his account, VRP will alert the cashier that this amount is over the customer's credit limit. The customer may then choose to charge part of the sale and pay the remaining balance by a different method. Notice that the receipt now reflects the customer's current balance information. To accept payment from a customer on his house account, start by selecting the customer. Then press Pay In Pay Out. Choose the Pay In option, then press OK. 
Enter the amount the customer wishes to pay. Then choose the method of payment and finalize the transaction. This will reduce the customer's balance by the amount paid. You can also set up a corporate house account that will allow multiple people to charge against the corporate balance. To do this, you must first set up the company as a customer. For this example, the company we are setting up is the Silvertown Board of Public Works. First, we will enter a unique customer ID. Then we will enter the same as the company. Then enter the corporate name and address. This may be the name of the company or the corporate contact. Then click House Account Info to set a credit limit for this company. When you are finished, click Save. Next, set up a customer as you usually would, making sure that you select the company for this authorized user. You can set up as many customers as you like for any company. When making a sale, be sure to connect the individual customer and not the corporate account. Then scan the items as usual and choose House Account as the method of payment. The amount of the sale will be reflected in the company's account balance. When another sale is made for a different customer from the same company, his sale will be added to the corporate house account balance, as you can see on this receipt. To print a statement for your customer, Exit the point of sale. Then go to Back Office and Reports. Click AR for Accounts Receivable. Enter the customer's name and click Search. Or just click Search to see all customers with outstanding balances. Then click Statements. Enter the date range for the transactions you would like to see. Then click OK Print. The statement will show all transactions and payments for the date range entered, and it will show the current balance due. The printed statement is ready to be mailed in a standard window envelope if you choose. You can see the balance for a corporate house account in the same way. Instead of searching for an individual's name, search for the company, and you will be able to view the balance information for that company. When you are finished, click Bye Bye to exit the AR module.